How's it, 2-9 crew? And happy National Cheesesteak Day. Oh, yeah, you know how I love me some cheesesteaks and everything. And, of course, unfortunately, you can't really find a good cheesesteak over here in Hawaii and stuff. So, of course, I'm bringing you, which y'all see on the thumbnail, a versus competition when it comes to a cheesesteak that's over here in Hawaii. You have national brand Charlie's cheesesteaks and you have Jersey Mike's and I'm bringing them both to you right now. And of course, you know, I'm here with Unk right here with me right now. Oh, hey, Unk, why, why, why are you wearing a champion shirt? You know, I, I need to, I need to change that shirt for you. Okay, uh, uh, do me a favor, put your arms out like this. All right, and Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got your donkey shirt on now. Oh yeah, National Cheesesteak Day, baby. You gotta represent donkeys up in there. How you liking that shirt? Is it comfortable for you? It's comfortable, oh. very comfortable. Oh yeah, I know it would have been. Thank you for that. So of course, you know, me and Unc, we are gonna try out these cheesesteaks from Charlie's and from Jersey Mike's and stuff. Of course, I don't think either of them can compare to how cheesesteaks is done in Philly, but this is what we got over here. Yeah, I know y'all remember the videos that I did from those other cheesesteak spots that's over here that sold cheesesteaks and stuff. Yeah, that now those those breads and everything. Yeah. But now y'all want to know my opinion on when it comes to what national brand makes the best cheesesteaks, okay? Either Charlie's or Jersey Mike's, okay? And I want to bring that to you also right now. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I got two cheesesteaks of the same caliber, both with fried onions and mayonnaise, okay? I think I got mayonnaise. Yeah, I did get mayonnaise on this one. And also is this one, too. You know, but we're going to try this down. But before we go and chow down on these sandwiches, we need to pray over it. Lord Jesus, thank you for this food that me and uncle are going to devour. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, of course, guys, what do you think we should try first? Jersey Mike's or Charlie's? Left or right? Come on, guys. You know you got the right one. You got the right one, baby. So here's Charlie's cheesesteak right here. And let's pull this right out right now. Okay, at least they got a little cheese pulled to that. As you see, guys, it's, you know, just cheese meat, provolone cheese, and fried onions on this thing. Also, the bread. Uh, this bread is kind of sus to me. Uh, Y'all know how I am about bread, you know. But, man, up, we want to chow this thing down, hopefully. I mean, this bread, I mean, this bread is really kind of getting to me. It's not, it's not, it, it just don't feel right. It just don't feel right. <laughs> All right, guys, bottoms up. Mm. How you liking it? The meat tastes good. Bread real soft. Not the same. Yeah. I'm gonna I need to do a second judge. Mm. Nah. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No. Mm. Oh, hell no. I'm just thinking of this, and I'm just getting sick off of that taste. Oh, God, man. Really. Definitely not. That bread, that bread ruins it right there. The meat's okay. You know, the onions is okay. They got great technique when they was cooking it and stuff. But... Mmm, that bread to me. I know I'll probably like it though, but mmm, the bread to me. Uh, I can't do it. No, no, no. I mean, geez, Louise. <laughs> All right, now we're going to try Jersey Mike's. Wanna 
take this piece right here and I'm gonna take that right there as you see right there nice gooeyness to it you know the bread feels better. bread feels much better it does feel much better you know but of course it's all about taste bottoms up mmm I see what they did here. Hmm. I did say mayo. Now they put mayo on it. <laughs> oh boy, didn't they put mayo on it. But the bread is better texture. The meat tastes like it's better meat too. The meat is kind of something that you would get from like the East Coast and stuff. I mean, for sure pretty good, you know. I gotta say it, it's much better than Charlie's. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So now guys, as you see both of those cheese steaks, I mean, one to me was much better and that was Jersey Mike's. Oh God, I'm so glad that I saved the best for last. Oh God, that's why you must do side-by-side -side comparisons when it comes to something like a cheesesteak or so because if you try one and then try another one then try another one at different locations go into different locations you really wouldn't be able to compare the two if you will say you know but we just compared the two and in my opinion jersey mike's was way better way way better than charlie's okay that meat from charlie's was kind of rubbery also too it just didn't taste well seasoned at all you know i mean i seen them put season on it you know and as you see i'm showing you this video right here you see him you see him just doing his thing with the seasoning and chopping up and everything but man oh man it was just bland to me and also that bread god that bread that they use my god it's not good they really need to change that bread I'm telling you guys bread is the absolute key to making a good sandwich if you don't have that good bread then you won't have it now jersey mike's on the other hand they did the exact way the exact same technique one technique that i don't like that jersey mike's do they put the bread with the meat and cheese on top, I mean, on the upper area, causing it when you go to wrap it up in the paper, it sticks to the paper. That's something that you don't need to do right there because technically you're taking away some cheese and some meat that's going to get stuck to the paper. I don't want that, you know. I want that cheese and meat in my belly, you know. I don't want to have to go on and scrape it off the paper. I don't need to have to do that, you know. I wish Jersey Mike's will change their format on how they do it in Philly. Philadelphia, you won't see any of those shops. Maybe some of them. But most of those shops, you will not see them put the cheese on top. They'll put the cheese whiz on top. Yeah, they'll spread the cheese whiz on top and everything. Yeah, but it's also on the bottom as well, too. But when it comes to sliced cheese, nah, they're mixing it in. They doing what they got to do to mix that sucker in so it won't stick to the paper. Also, they are also adding a simple wax paper on the top so it can just get onto that. And it's minimum. It's mostly minimum of cheese and meat that's on that paper. And at least it's not stuck to the actual paper and stuff jersey mics as you see i mean they did a good job with the grilling and setting up as well too so of course they both had the same technique when it comes to technique on serving it to the customers i do give it to charlie's because they do put it in a container you know i mean this container right here that saves it from actually getting on a wrapper and stuff so you wouldn't have to peel the cheese off the wrapper you know I give them that their technique was better you know but when it comes to taste mm -mm, no just was not that bread did it all you know jersey mike's bread was much better even though it's not as nowhere near as better how it is in the city of philadelphia so as you see my score for charlie's yeah that's what charlie's getting from me you know now unk he's going to have himself a different score 
Unk score is this. And that's what and that's the score he's given for Charlie's as well. Alright, so I mean we both have different variants of it, but a hey, it's understandable. But Jersey Mike's, of course, there's as much better. It's not as good as you get back east and everything, but there you see my score right there. It's much better than what you get with Charlie's though, for sure. And any other place over here in the island. So this is where I, I go to for my cheese steaks. I go to Jersey Mike's over here in Hawaii to get my cheese steaks and stuff, okay? I don't go to Charlie's, no. I, I don't go to Charlie's. And as you see, there's Unk's uh, score right there. And of course, you know, he likes it a lot too. I mean, ain't that right, Unk? I enjoyed it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So guys, if you have your own judgment on who makes a better cheesesteak, write in the comments, let me know who do you think makes a better cheesesteak out of these two, Jersey Mike's and Charlie's. I know I'm gonna probably get more Jersey Mike's and Charlie's folks, for sure, for sure. But also too, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. And also, too, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, guys, until the next video, Lord willing, peace. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.